Good morning. Today is Thursday, March 19, 2020, and the Solemnity of St. Joseph, Husband of Mary. When we talk about being behind the scene, St. Joseph is the perfect example of one who joyfully and confidently worked behind the scene, letting Mary and Jesus have their rightful place so that the work of salvation may go on. Throughout the scriptures, no words of St. Joseph except his holy thoughts and heroic acts were recorded. Today's Gospel from Matthew chapter 1 reveals to us the moment St. Joseph was invited to participate in salvation history. Having noticed that Mary was pregnant, Joseph's life was thrown into chaos, anxiety, worry, and disappointment. The woman he loved seemed to have disappointed him and now, because of the immense capacity to love, he sought a way to slowly divorce her so she would not be a public scandal. St. Joseph did not seek to smear the name of Mary. So when we think that someone has wronged us, we should not then carry their name to all corners of the earth. We should certainly not tweet it or post it on Facebook and the likes. God saw the worry in the loving heart of St. Joseph and sent his angel to bring clarity into his life. The first thing the angel said to him was, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. The angels first spoke peace into his heart so that he can be able to receive the clarity God has given him. When our heart is full of fear, clarity seems to be very far. What is your fear? Death? Losing your job? Not being good enough? Disappointing others? Whatever your fear is, do not be far away from God who gives us clarity, but be assured of the consoling voice of the angel which says, Do not be afraid. When Joseph woke from his sleep, the Bible says he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him. Obedience is the greatest virtue of St. Joseph. He was obedient to God's instruction through the angel. He said yes to the invitation to be part of salvation history. We can imagine that some instructions, like the flight to Egypt, must have been very difficult, yet St. Joseph said yes to them. What is God putting in your heart to do? Are you afraid that it is a difficult task? Are you afraid that it will change you or make a big demand from you? Please do not be afraid. God is not setting you up for failure. Like St. Joseph, humbly do as he asks and you will enter more deeply into his love. Finally, St. Joseph is the patron of the Universal Church. Let us implore his intercession now that it seems like the bridegroom has been taken away from us. Amen? Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by St. Joseph's intercession, your church may constantly wash over the unfolding of the mysteries of, hum of human salvation, whose beginnings you entrusted to his faithful care. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Peace be with you.